All right, fellas, so uh, we're getting a new trailer set up. It's a McLean 14 to 17 foot boats. Plan on building a longer boat. You know, I've been wanting to build a, a true mud motor, something with an inboard mount uh, for my mud motor. Probably going to make it somewhere between 15 and 16 feet long. And this trailer was perfect. You remember how I was complaining about the Harbor Freight, how I put about 580, almost $600 worth of money into the trailer over time. Well, the McLean trailer I bought was $600, um, 599 with the big 12 inch tires on it and all that stuff. They have another trailer that's 11 to 14 feet boat that has eight inch tires that retails for like $499. As always, the neighbors decide to uh, pass by, right, when I'm going to do video. I mean, so. I'm not sure if I like these little uh, springs on there, but yeah, we'll probably just keep them. Yeah. We got a couple of guys, they can get it done in about five seconds. <laughs> just you by yourself. It's on there. All right, fellas, so what do you think? We use the same buckles and tie downs that we used on the old trailer, and it works just fine. The same lengths and everything. I'm happy so far. It rides well. You can definitely, it's definitely a more substantial trailer. You can feel it pushing more, and that's fine, but it's still pretty lightweight for me to pick up due to the fact that it's aluminum. It's kind of, um, I should say, springy, not bouncy. The tires don't bounce, they're firmly planted, but you can feel that long boom. You can just feel it kind of, you know what I mean? <laughs> simple design just a simple long beam angle aluminum square with springs mounted on top of it this is a great cut if you got a long kayak or a long canoe or something like that you could really do well with something like this I, I'm, I'm liking it Can't, I gotta get the motor mounted up and we'll probably be heading out and hunting some catfish by tomorrow hey you know McLean trailers we're gonna see it, it I, can, I can just tell by the way it's designed and the thought that they've obviously put into it that it'll be a good trailer for dragging up and down those long dirt roads and stuff. You know, I've heard a lot of people talk about bearing buddy or something like that for the wheels. You know, so I'm thinking about getting those so we can just top off the grease just like I do in my mud motor with the with the grease fittings on there. Should be fine. Time to get some grub. 